Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. All right, today we're gonna work on a detail that doesn't go coached a lot, but it's very important if we wanna play the game fast and be able to pick the pucks up to be able to make plays in the game of hockey. We're gonna work on picking the puck up off the wall from a rim puck or just a hard puck that's staying on the yellow dasher. Now, today we're gonna to show you how to do this by our hand placement, our body positioning, and also our thought process on what we're looking for when trying to pick the puck up off a wall, off a rim puck. With everybody practicing skill development and stick handling pucks to make offensive plays, this is a great skill to have when you're picking up that puck off of a broken play or trying to stop a forecheck or trying to break the puck out on a defensive zone area to be able to then go on offense. And it's a skill that doesn't get teached a whole lot, but it's expected to know if you want to play at a high level. First, we're going to show where our body positioning is going to be to pick that puck off the wall. Now, the most important thing is our top hand placement. The biggest key is having the most blades on the ice to be able to pick those pucks up clean and so they don't get past you. So notice his top hand. If his top hand is low, the blade comes up off the ice. As soon as he raises his top hand, the blade gets flat on the ice, which is able to stop that puck. The skill in being able to raise your top hand but still keep a low center of gravity is very important when you're playing in a game-like situation. Because if the puck's coming up the wall and you're stopping it, most likely you're gonna have to roll off and attack the net. Or you're gonna have to brace for a hit. Now, we're gonna rim some pucks and we're gonna first show you how he receives the puck on his backhand. Then we're gonna switch directions and he'll receive the puck on his forehand. Now, regardless if you're catching the puck on your backhand or your forehand, your hand positioning is the same. Now, a little cheat tip. If the puck's coming a little bit harder, and maybe a little bit more bouncy, we can always slide our bottom hand down the shaft of our stick to get stronger, but the top hand still stays above the bottom hand. Okay, now remember when we're doing this, this isn't what a winger should do, what a defenseman should do. This is just the skill that we're working on to be able to apply it into different situations. Picking the puck up off the wall on a rim puck or a puck that's sitting on the wall is a skill in itself. And that's the actual skill development that we're working on today. So remember, it's all about the hand placement and making sure that our blade is flat. Then we can progress it into whatever else we want. We can progress into attacking the net, we can progress into a breakout, and we can progress into keeping the puck in deep if we're that weak side defenseman playing on his offside. When we're practicing this skill and we want to apply it to a game and we want to feel really comfortable with our back turn to the play, make sure that we take a screenshot of what's behind us before we go and then put our head at the puck to pick that puck up off the wall. So notice Mike is gonna to come to pick a puck off the wall. He's gonna look what's behind him. He's gonna look what's to the side of him. And then all of a sudden he's gonna feel comfortable turning his back to the play and picking that puck up off the wall. Now, if we are gonna do it on the backhand side, which is really uncomfortable, all of a sudden I'd come in I'd look what's behind me, I'd look what's in front of me, and then I would feel really good about making that play and knowing that I'm not in harm's way. One last thing we talked about at the beginning, remember the foundation for everything is being ready. And if his knees are over his toes in a nice bent position, 
He's ready for everything. And that's the first step. I just want to thank Mike Moore for helping us out. And remember, skill development isn't just about scoring 50 goals. Sometimes you got to pick the puck up off the wall to start that play. Absolutely. Keep working hard, kids, and have fun. All right, thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. And remember, if you like this video, press that like button on our YouTube page and make sure you subscribe to see what we got coming at you next week. It's all about the details. Now remember, we're going to be shooting with our hands. I know everybody was taught to shoot the puck, put your feet sideways, and use good weight transfer, but hockey is a game of being comfortable in uncomfortable positions. So when we're moving straight ahead, we have to be able to shoot the puck, we have to be able to be a weapon, even when someone's draped all over us.